Tell me a little bit about the musical challenge of, uh, of that film. I think uh, the challenge of Time Traveler's Wife was to do a score that you know, conveys the love, conveys the romance, but uh, also shows kind of the layers, the deeper layers to it, the, the, um, the torment, and, and also to have some fun with the whole idea of time. And I did a lot of, I recorded the orchestra four words, and then it's very complicated. We had to, I got my assistant to write it all out backwards, the lucky guy. And then uh, we recorded it backwards, so the, the players played it all backwards, and then we flipped the tape over, as it were, and played it that way. And so there's a bit of a kind of a time travel thing going on within the uh, orchestra. How often can you sort of get away with this kind of interesting, twisty kind of musical challenge? Every time. <laughs> I hope. That's, uh, I think that's part of the fun of being a composer, is to be excited about what you're doing and to be able to um, bring you know everyone on the team the filmmaking team you know along for the for the fun and, and uh, just be able to, sh to show and and illustrate just how much music can do and how how intelligent music can be and and still fulfill the things that it needs to fulfill can you say briefly what BMI has meant to you uh, BMI is uh, especially with Doreen it's a family. I mean, it really feels like uh, home when, when, you know, we're here and very well taken care of. Um, you know, Doreen, and I'm, you know, one of many that would say this, I mean, she's just the most lovely person and, and really makes you feel like part of a, a big, warm family.